All right, so in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about micro SD cards. I get this question pretty often in the comments in a lot of my videos regarding recording problems with various cameras or with, with goggles or DVR. And uh, typically it has to do with some sort of a problem with the speed of the micro SD card that you're using. So, uh, for example, if you're trying to record 4K video on um, one of the high end, um, you know, uh, aerial drones like the DJI drone, for example, uh, I think those recorded like pretty high bit rates at 100 megabits per second. You're going to need a pretty fast card. And if you're getting skipping video or no video file at all, that usually means you have either a bad card, it's defective, or it's not fast enough. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what kind of a card you're going to be want to be looking for in order to capture the video that's going to be nice and smooth and reliable. So as you guys know, I'm a video creator and I use all kinds of different cameras here, GoPros, action cameras. I also record stuff on uh, FPV goggles, uh, various different drones, etc. So I go through a lot of micro SD cards and I have a ton of these that have, uh, you know, various issues with some and, and, and not others, but I have an idea of which ones to go for. Now, I just wanted to let you know that Banga did send me this one at the top. This is the one from this company called Flyhall. It's a 64 gigabyte card. Uh, I purchased uh, the SanDisk Extreme with my own money and also this one down here at the bottom is kind of a no name. I also got off of Amazon. And basically, um, if you're outside of the US, you're probably not gonna see any of these sort of brands um, in the US at Amazon, like like Flyhall and Blitzwolf and some of the other ones you're gonna see on Banggood. There's a whole bunch of different sort of Chinese brands on Banggood at various prices and specs and it's kind of all over the map. And quite frankly, I, you know, it, it's not really worth it for me to wait for shipping to get something like this from Banggood because it takes a long time to ship and the prices aren't really that much better. In fact, this 64 gigabyte card here is a few dollars more than the SanDisk Extreme that I purchased off Amazon for like 14. I think this one here is like 18. So there's no advantage for me. Now, obviously, for those of you guys that don't live in the U.S. and have the convenience of Amazon, you know, you might be looking at purchasing something from Banga. Then, you know, this one you might want to check out. This one, uh, it, it tests out pretty good. I'll show you the specs and the testing I did and the numbers I got. Actually, this performed better than the SanDisk, surprisingly. Um, but essentially, there's like standards for various cards and speeds. So I found this little graph here that denotes what the different standards are like v6 through v90 for video speed and there's also class 2 to class 10 and it denotes here what the speed in megabytes per second are now it's saying that for 4k video you need a v60 card at 60 megabytes per second but i'm i found that v30 at 30 megabytes per second is going to be fine for most things that are 100 megabytes per second and under so it's usually going to be a 4k 30 or 4k 60 video Obviously, if you're going into the realm of 8K video or anything more, then you're going to need even much faster cards. Of course, as you increase your speed here, the price goes up. Um, so the two cards here at the top, the Fly Hall and the SanDisk, are V30 uh, cards here. So they're denoted on the card here. There's these little like sort of classifications on the card itself. So there's a uh, really hard to see a U3 for both of these, A2 and V30. So V30 is what you're more, mostly interested in if you're doing video. Uh, if you're doing other things like um, uh, A2 is for like applications, that kind of stuff if you're using in a smartphone or some sort of like a tablet or PC. Uh, but V30 is what you're mostly interested in for a video. And this is gonna be that minimum 30 megabytes per second. So let me just show you how these two performed in the, I use this uh, program called Crystal Discmark. And so that's the bad one. So there's the fly hall. And what you're interested in here is the numbers for the write speed. And you can see here 79, 81, 4.19, and 3.83. But then if you look at the uh, sand disk, this is the, this the, uh, the gold one here, the gold and red one here. Numbers are actually a little bit lower. However, this is totally fine for 4K video. I, I was using this in uh, cameras that uh, the GoPro Hero 8, 4K um, 60 at 100 megabits per second, no problem uh, at these speeds here. However, the 
Unirex. This is an older camera or older micro SD card. This one here, it says 50 megabytes per second on here, but you can see it's a U1 class 10 only, which means it's really only rated to 10 megabytes per second. So they put that 50 megabytes on there and that's uh, kind of a lie. And it shows in the speed test data. So here's this one here. These numbers are much slower, especially in the random rates here. And when I use this card in my GoPro, I usually get no recorded file or an error or the video starts skipping, which is pretty annoying. So that's, this is basically, uh, the bottom line is, if you're looking at uh, micro SD cards, um, first you wanna go for brands that you know that you, you've uh, had experiences with before. So I know that a lot of you guys in the US are gonna probably go for SanDisk or Samsung or something along those lines. SanDisk is pretty, pretty dominant in the US, especially on Amazon. And you're going to get this, you know, the V30 is what you're going to be looking for for 4K video. Um, and then, you know, for, for Banggood, I don't I don't have no experience with any of the other brands like uh, Blitzwolf and all the other ones that are, that are on the store there. This is the only one that I've used and it works fine. And the testing has shown that the numbers are pretty good. I don't know how good it is in terms of longevity. I know that a lot of these uh, SanDisk ones I've had for a long time and use them for a long time. They've been totally fine. Um, of course, I haven't used this for very long, the fly haul, so I can't really speak to how well it will do in a year or two from now. So, you know, if I experience any problems with this, I will let you know in the community section of my channel. But you know, for now, it seems to be working fine. And, um, you know, for me, I, again, being in the U.S., I'm not going to be spending the extra money. It's a few extra dollars. Yeah, it's a little bit faster, but SanDisk is fast enough for me for the uh, GoPro Hero 8. And, um, yeah, it's also cheaper and I can get a lot faster through Amazon. So for those of you guys in the U S video, uh, at least, at least this fly hall card is probably not that going to be useful for you, but maybe if you're overseas and bank, it's like your only store that, that will ship you stuff. Then maybe you want to, might want to check this one out over the other brands that are over there. But yeah, you know, basically the bottom line is it's the speed of the card. If you're having problems with your video and recordings, change your card, upgrade the card. They're really cheap. You know, the 64 gigabyte cards like 14 bucks. So, um, you know, if you're using an old card in a modern camera and you're having problems getting things to record, then I think it's time to upgrade and go ahead and pick up a newer one. And make sure you have uh, the ones that have the V30 or higher speed rating and you should be good to go. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.